Ladies and gents, I'm Russo Jurex and this is the most gruesome parasites, neglected tropical diseases, NTDs. This is what the channel is going in a nutshell. There are a group of parasites extremely disgusting and mean. Humanity declared war on them. Really? Damn. I don't know about this. What are they talking about? Uh, is this about all the parasites or the specific parasite, I guess? NTDs. Must be some kind of specific parasites. So, yeah. I took quite a few Kuzgaza videos already. If you haven't seen them, check out the cause of the playlist I created for it. Kuzgaza Reaction. I upload lots of videos in 24 hours, so you might not have gotten a notification for some of the videos. So check out the playlist, it's all there. Uh, check out the playlist too, like uh, Ori Sakashi Production, uh, Ori Simplified, History, CGP Great Here Zoo. And yeah, let's watch this one. In the year 1014, Byzantine Emperor Basil II defeated the Bulgarian army and captured 15,000 prisoners. He could have killed them, but he had a different idea. He wanted to weaken his opponents for decades to come. So he ordered that 99 out of every 100 prisoners be blinded. The 100th to be spared one eye to guide the rest back home, forcing their communities to care for them for the rest of their lives. Today, humans are sub- Now what the fuck? Okay, I know this is not that video, but still I have to talk about this. Damn, past times and, you know, I guess, ancient time, whatever, whatever you call it. Uh, you know, centuries ago, basically, this was just after thing, isn't it? People used to go to war over stupid things, basically, and they captured civilians that has nothing to do with anything. They were just living their life, 15,000 or whatever. And they do horrible shit like this, cut out their eyes and shit. Oh, that's just fucking horrible, isn't it? I mean, during that time, people just visit some cities like Constantinople, whatever, you, you know, uh, I, I just imagine in my head, like, they just go to this, uh, basically, massive cities, kids are playing and everything, and a week later, you hear, oh, Constantinople was just sacked. Uh, all the people are taken prisoners and killed and shit, so you just know in your head that whatever the kids you were seeing playing are now dead. That's just effed up, man. I mean, those times used to be so horrible. I don't know how people process that, because I can't. Just knowing the humans are that kind of expendable, people just die left and right. Damn. Object to an attack just as cynical as this by a league of supervillains called NTDs. One in seven humans on the planet suffers from one or more NTDs, more than the entire population of Europe. What? They do unimaginable damage. By crippling countless people, they destroy billions of dollars in income each year. That's way too high. How have I ever never heard of this? How is this a thing? And I don't know about it. What the fuck? Weaken communities and slow progress. What are these monsters straight out of a horror movie? Seeking to wreak havoc on our species? NTDs are caused by a vast range of different parasites such as worms, amoeba, bacteria or viruses. The symptoms they cause are just as diverse and truly the stuff of nightmares. Some, like hookworms, compete with children's brains and bodies for nutrition, stunting growth and impairing intelligence. Some NTDs cause blindness as a result of awful eye infections. Other parasites can find patients to bed for months and damage internal organs, often shortening lifespans drastically. Yet other- Alright, it's that widespread but I've never heard of anyone that I know of who got contracted with any of these parasites. And I remember watching a House MD episode where somebody did get infected with parasites in their eyes where he could literally see the parasites are, you know, inside of the, you know, eyeballs. That was just after when I saw that, like holy shit. I don't know, I was kind of younger when I saw that, so I was like, uh, kind of like, you know, terrified, like, what the fuck, something like this can exist. But then I realized the parasite do exist, but I didn't know they were this much widespread, more than the population of entire Europe, what the fuck. Others cause horrible disfigurements that lead to social stigma, a life lived in shame and unemployment. There are also a few that are incredibly agonizing. They cause continuous itching or horrible pain. In fact, Let's introduce you to one of them, Dracunculiasis. If you accidentally drink water infected by it, you won't notice anything for a year, until one day you suddenly see a blister on your leg. The worm breaks out of the skin to release new larvae. The only way to remove it 
is to slowly put it out of your leg, center by centimeter over the course of several weeks because dracunculiasis is now up to a meter long. We can all agree that we should kill Yo, what the fuck? What, what the f What was that, man? I've never heard of that. I don't, I don't know anyone who ever got that. And that's a widespread thing? How have I never heard of this? I like to think my general knowledge is, I guess, vast enough. How the fuck I don't know about this? And that's just terrifying, man. I did not, you know, I did not thought that reacting to Khosgaz's video will, you know, weird me out like this, but there you go. ...such parasites with fire. That's why we declared war on them, pleading to eradicate most of them by 2020, and we tried doing that very hard. In 1985, there were 3.5 million cases of dracunculiasis all over the world. In 2015, there were 22. Ah. We killed 99.999% of these little monsters. That's why he was talking about 1985 or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? This is widespread today? And I don't know about this. How is that possible? But no, it's not. Only 22 cases in 2015. It will be the first parasite we eradicate for good very soon. So, even if they don't generate big headlines like Ebola did, actually, amazing things have happened when it comes to NTDs. All NTDs have one thing in common. They preferably attack humans who live in the most isolated communities and who are least able to defend themselves. There are villages that are 500 kilometers from the nearest health facility uh, with no roads anywhere. That's grim. So, even if a remedy is available, what if it means going on an odyssey to get it to the patients? This called for an attack using brute force. To stamp out NTDs once and for all, what's possibly the biggest medical program in human history was launched, unmatched in scale. Organizations from all fields are working together right now to eliminate 10 of these NTDs forever. Ironically, every NTD is in fact preventable or treatable. But most of them can only be controlled by giving medicine to every person in all high-risk areas. That means millions and millions of doses of medicine, often for several NTDs at a time over the course of years, in countries where there is no infrastructure. Governments and health organizations just couldn't do that by themselves. Here, humanity got an opportunity to show off what the industrialized production of medicine can achieve. The pharma industry stepped in to distribute the necessary drugs for free and promised to keep doing it until those 10 diseases are gone. By 2020, nearly $18 billion worth of drugs will have been distributed. The largest drug donation the world has ever seen. Damn, that's your, that's not the news that you normally hear, is it? I mean, seriously, this is not the news I have heard. I mean, when people say that news is just, I guess, you know, fear-mongering, you know, organization that just, you know, makes money off people's fears. I guess in a way that is true, isn't it? Because this is the kind of good news that they could show. And I don't remember hearing about this ever. While everybody just bitches about some, you know, obviously 2020 was a different thing. But before that, whenever some virus pops up in some different part of the continent, even your country gets that news all the time because you get afraid, basically. But nobody to talked about this in 2015 or whatever because I've never heard of this in any news. Not just in Indian news, any international news too. I don't remember reading this. That's just halved up. But yeah, look at that. Drug pharma companies that is usually perceived as greedy companies, and which they are most of the times, actually did this as a goal. Like, we're we going to give away free medicines to, I guess, eradicate these uh, parasites. That's a good thing, man. I mean, you know, that is something that this humanity can look at it and like, okay, you know what? If we're going to call ourselves 21st century humans, we can't have something that is really thing of the past, like this parasites and things. We can't have things sticking out of people's legs and shit. They also help to make sure the drugs actually get to where they're needed. In 2015 alone, these treatments reached over 850 million people, more than the Damn. population of the EU and the US combined. Bad things happening generates headlines. Hundreds of millions of people overcoming extremely destructive diseases in an unprecedented act of cooperation doesn't. Seriously. Stories like this one are not told often enough. Good things happen all the time. Moving humanity closer to a future with no suffering. 
So, if you or one of your friends are in need of uplifting news, share this video with them. We, as a species, really can do great things with no other motivation than to help each other. It's good to remember that from time to time. Yeah, seriously. This video was made possible in part by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and your support on Patreon.com. Damn, that was surprising. I did not see that coming, especially from the start of the video, where it was just terrifying news. First of all, I was surprised, like, how am I oblivious to this so much, if that's such a widespread issue today? But obviously, it's not about today. It used to be widespread issue decades ago. And, you know, so basically all everybody just, uh, you know, agree that you know we can't have this and uh, for past few decades there's a mission going on to eradicate this and it was just 22 cases in 2015 god knows after that if they were you know eradicated or not but yeah that is something so it started with horrifying thing and it ended with uplifting thing that is something well we all that was the most gruesome parasites neglected tropical disease NTDs. For the channel Kuz Gaza in a nutshell. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction under this link in the description. Check out the castle, please check out the end cards, and I'll see you next time.